Hello everyone, in this new video we are going to see how to validate uh, an app idea using the App Store optimization and to do this uh, we will use uh, Astro, an App Store optimization tool for Apple developers. I will leave you the link of Astro in the description if you want to try a demo. The first step that we need to do in Astro is add a temporary app. Basically, uh, we only need to click on add app and then add temporary app. A temporary app is basically a container where uh, we can insert our keywords. Uh, in this video, we are going to understand if we can build, for example, uh, an habit tracker app. Okay, so uh, I can edit the app name, my habit tracker. Okay, now the first step is uh, um, understand which are our main keywords. For example, in Habit Tracker app, uh, I suppose that we have two main keywords, Habit and Habit Tracker or something like this. So let me add these keywords uh, in Astro. We always use the USA App Store because it's the largest store in the world and uh, can give us uh, a clear overview about uh, the popularity of some keywords. But uh, as you can see, Astro gives us uh, some uh, important information about uh, these keywords uh, that we just added. Uh, the, the, um, the main information that uh, we uh, discuss in this video is uh, the popularity. The popularity is uh, uh, a value that ranges from 0 to 100 and uh, this value uh, gives us an information about how much is searched a keyword inside the App Store. It's important to understand that the popularity is, uh, is uh, an exponential value. What I mean? That uh, the growth of the, v the views in the App Store is um, exponential with the growth of the popularity. So, for example, a popularity of uh, 10, a popularity of uh, 20 is not uh, simple the double in terms of views uh, on the App Store, but uh, is a lot more, okay? The second step, uh, now we understood what is it, the popularity is add more keywords uh, like uh, uh, these, uh, these, these two keywords. To do this uh, in Astro is extremely simple because we have uh, the suggestion future. We only need to click on the bulb icon and we can add other keywords uh, that are suggested uh, starting from the first two. So for example, I can add daily habit tracker, habit tracking, daily habit tracker free. As you can see here, you have the popularity of these keywords. Okay, habit builder. As you can see, all the keywords uh, in uh, this specific topic have uh, a good level of popularity. So I think that uh, if we have uh, um, a level of popularity with a good range of keywords uh, that um, uh, is between uh, 20 and uh, 60, like uh, in this case, uh, we can start building an app. But before doing this, uh, we need to do another step. We need to understand who are our competitors. As you can see in the ranking column, there are uh, some apps that uh, are present uh, for different keywords. So these are our competitors. For example, uh, this one. A good way to uh, understand uh, if it's possible uh, and is it feasible uh, um, ranking guy for this keyword uh, and uh, is a look at uh, our competitor. Uh, for example, look at uh, the, the rating count, the average rating and so on. And um, you can uh, extract a lot of information simply going to their app, uh, app store pages. For example, here you can see um, the, the reviews uh, that the, the users leave to this um, application. And reading the review, you can understand uh, if there are uh, some weakness or strength 
for this application. And also in this page, you can see the, um, the pricing for this app. We are looking for, uh, I would describe it in the previous video, we are looking for an app that we can sell to an high price. For example, $40 uh, per year or also $100 per year in this range. We are looking for something to in this range. Um, I want to explain you again why this is important uh, because for our course, we are, look, we are trying to arrive to $1,000 per month as soon as possible. You can arrive to this goal also selling something to a lower price but uh, for my point of view it's easy if you sell something if you sell an app to a higher price to conduct our competitors analysis uh, we can also uh, create a sort of file in google where we can uh, write down the competitor names the number of ratings the price for weekly uh, monthly and yearly subscription and write down some strengths and weakness of uh, these applications and uh, in this way we can have a clear overview of uh, our competitors and uh, we can also um, understand what we can uh, uh, develop uh, to create something better than uh, their wraps. In this file you can add all the fields that you want, uh, it's not important that you follow this template. If you have for example other fields uh, that you want to insert you can do it without any problem but uh, it's only to understand uh, uh, who are our competitors and their pricing point. Usually I do this work for uh, f four or five apps. It's uh, useless to do this kind of uh, work for a lot of application. So back into Astro, uh, in this way, uh, simply adding two keywords, uh, we uh, saw that we have uh, an overview about uh, the situation in the App Store for uh, uh, apps uh, like uh, uh, the one that we want to build. So it's very important to uh, perform this, um, this kind of researches uh, before uh, start developing uh, your, uh, your new application. As you saw, it's something that you can do really, really fast. Uh, it's an operation that uh, probably requires you 10 minutes of your time and uh, that can save you a month of work. So thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you to the next one. Bye.